The Tiny Odyssey, One Water Molecule's Grand Adventure. Watt awoke with a shiver on the cool, damp surface of a lush green leaf. The sun was just beginning to peek over the horizon, painting the sky with hues of pink and orange. Good morning, Watt, chirped another water molecule, dewy as it jostled next to him. A new day, a new adventure. But as the sun rose, a strange sensation tickled Watt. He felt himself getting lighter, a tug pulling him upwards. His vision blurred as he was lifted off the leaf, swirling upwards in an invisible column of warmth. You're evaporating, Watt, explained Elda, an older water molecule, as they soared into the sky together. Watt could feel his energy increasing, his molecules moving faster. He was a water vapor now, a gas, feeling lighter and freer than ever. In his gaseous state, Watt was taken by the wind, whirling him over forests, rivers, and mountains. He felt like a bird soaring high, part of a magnificent aerial ballet of water molecules, each dancing to the tune of nature's orchestra. Watt felt the rush of cool wind, learning about its part in his lofty journey. Chapter 4 Meet the Clouds, a Fluffy Reunion Eventually, Watt found himself in the company of countless other water molecules, forming a fluffy white cloud. Welcome to the Cloud Club, a fellow molecule bubbled cheerfully. The cloud was a soft, serene place, and Watt learned how their collective condensation created this dreamy spectacle. Chapter 5 From Cloud to Ocean, The Precipitation Plunge a sudden heaviness overcame Watt and his cloud companions. He was falling, racing towards the ocean as a raindrop. With a joyful splash, he landed in the sea, his friends following suit. It was a refreshing dive, a thrilling thrill ride from the sky to the sea. Under the sea, Watt danced with other water molecules, swirling in the waves, exploring a world filled with fascinating sea creatures. It was a beautiful chaos, a colorful carnival of life, and Watt relished every moment. Suddenly, Watt found himself scooped up in a glass, then frozen into an ice cube in a child's lemonade. The cold tightened around him, and he could feel himself slow down, his movements becoming sluggish. He was solid now, closely packed with his companions, listening to their chattering as they shared their stories. When the child finished his drink, the ice cube was left behind. Under the warm sun, Watt felt himself change again. He could feel his molecules move faster, breaking free from the icy prison. He flowed as a liquid once more, a feeling of freedom washing over him. As night fell, Watt found himself on a leaf once more, transforming into a bead of dew under the twinkling stars. He felt a sense of peace and completion, knowing he had made a full circle. The moonlight shone softly on Watt, casting a silvery glow. His journey had been long, filled with adventures and transformations, but he knew when the sun rose, it would all begin again. Just like the water cycle, eternal, enduring, and endlessly exciting. Today was just one of many days in the life of Watt, the water molecule, and tomorrow promised another day of magnificent adventure.